Welcome back to my channel, beautiful, gorgeous angels. Today we are doing a freaking house tour. Finally, I can show you the new place that I moved into. I can show you my freaking rooms. Okay, I just need to put a disclaimer out there. Actually, I have a few disclaimers for you. Number one, please excuse my nails. Like, I'm just going through it right now. They're breaking left and right. I'm getting them done tomorrow, and tomorrow is Sunday, so yeah. I left this for the very last minute because I'm just incapable of being on time. Anyways. <laughs> Disclaimer number two, not everything is done in the house. We're actually not even close to being done. So just keep that in mind. There's so many things that we have to get. And if you guys have any suggestions on what we should do, let me know. So the theme is supposed to be like white and gold, old Hollywood, um, mixed with modern aesthetic. That's kind of what we're going for, but you already know both of my rooms are going to be pink, so nothing's changing about that, but the rest of the house is going to have a little bit more of like a modern twist to it. So yeah, if you guys have any suggestions, definitely let me know. Also, I blow dried my bangs like away from my face and I don't think they look absolutely terrible. They're okay, but it's just kind of like annoying. I wish I had freaking layers because it like stops right here and then boop, straight. I don't know, but want to see my outfit today? Okay, hold on. You guys remember the juicy tracksuit that I got literally like last week? I'm wearing it for this freaking tour because I just want to be feeling myself, but I also kind of want to put PJs on, but ain't nobody got time for that. Look at how cute the back is. Anyways, if you're new here, my name is Zena. Welcome to my channel. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel, hit that like button, and also turn your post notifications on so you never miss when I post a video. Let's get started into the video. This intro was so freaking long. So we need to go in order. Like, I can't start in my room. So let's go all the way downstairs. So the house is three levels, and the front door starts at the very bottom right here. And how am I going to show you guys? Oh, there we go. <laughs> All right, so this is the main entryway. We have a closet right here. Ignore the nail, I'm sorry. I have a random chair there because I don't even know what to put there yet. Like what? I don't know. I was thinking like a bench over here and like a nice little mirror at the very top. I'm not sure, but we'll figure that out. So to my left, there's a little like sunroom here, which is jam packed with like random stuff. <laughs> Look. Like I said, we're literally just starting to settle down. So there's a bunch of stuff here. Oh my God, my Clueless poster. I need to put that up. I have all of my Bath and Body Works products over there. Like it's just a freaking mess in here, but we're gonna turn this into a shoe walk-in closet type of thing. Coming down here, I really like that there's a lot of stairs because I feel like I'm definitely gonna get my workout in. So the garage is just right through this door over here and I'll show you. Both of our cars are in the garage. That one's mine, how cute is she? And there's just a bunch of stuff that we need to like put into place, but that's what that looks like. And over here, there's the basement, which is very convenient to have. Best believe we're not going down there, girl. I'm too scared, but there's just random stuff in there. But yeah, let's go upstairs. This part of the house is definitely what sold me on the house because it's so cute and for some reason I'm just obsessed with like a pretty kitchen. I was like if it has a pretty washroom and a pretty kitchen, I'm sold. <laughs> but let me show you. So now we go upstairs into the kitchen and the living room. All right, so this is the living room and there is the kitchen. How cute is this kitchen though? Like. I'm obsessed with the white countertops. I'm obsessed with that thing. I just love like all the stainless steel. It's so pretty to me. Next to the kitchen, there's this little corner over here. I think you're supposed to put a dining room table here, but I definitely don't want to do that because we don't need that. But this is what we have going on so far, okay? We have this mirror. Do you guys remember it from my apartment? We have this thing and this beautiful, gorgeous baby angel. Look at him, he's so cute. Hi. I think I want to put a rug right down there and some kind of nice portrait and a bench maybe. I genuinely have no idea, so help. Also, this is the light and it's so long. Like, look, <laughs> if it was tall enough, I would literally hit my head. 
I'm so obsessed with the kitchen, you guys. Like, it's so cute. Okay, let me show you what we got going on over here. I have my candle, which is strawberry pound cake, of course. We have a lovely photo of Marilyn Monroe, Chanel, and I started buying a bunch of like gold accessories for the kitchen from Amazon, and I think they look really good. Also, look at this motion sensor light. Hello? Oh my god. It's not working. Oh, there we go. Surprise. <laughs> it usually doesn't do that. In this little corner is where I keep all of my beautiful, gorgeous cups. Look at them. I'm actually obsessed with every single one. Got this knife set on Amazon, which is listed on my storefront down below. I got this jar and like filled it up with rice because it looks nice. <laughs> we have some candles here in this jar too. So cute. Very proud of this drawer. Like this is our cutlery, baking utensils, and cutting board. Oh, and clear straws. The vibe is gonna be very like clean and organized, which is just how we like it. All right, right over here we have the sink. It's a black sink and I have this marble mat, which is from HomeSense, which is like home goods. I have some baby angels. Look at how cute they are. But yeah, I definitely want to get like flowers and put them right in the middle there. I'm not too sure yet. I really don't know <laughs> what I'm doing. Another thing that I'm obsessed with in this house is this giant window in the living room. It makes me feel like I'm in an apartment, like a sky rise apartment. When I'm not, you know, we're we're in a house. So I really love that. I just, ugh, I really, really dislike the blinds because the blinds don't go up. Like you can only close them and open them. They don't go up. How crazy is that? <laughs> Anyways, this is our giant massive TV. Yeah, don't ask me about that. Ask my honey about that. I don't know. He just really wanted a big TV. So I was like, okay. Anyways, it looks really cool. It's super high up there. I don't know how they got that thing up there. Like, that's a giant TV. I think it's an 85 inch TV. Like, that's insane. <laughs> Anyways, we have a fireplace right underneath. Let me turn it on. Hold on. Oh my God. Yes, we love a fireplace. At first, we thought it was a real fireplace. But it's not but it looks like one hold on how cool is that it looks like a real fireplace Oh my god, I'm gonna touch it, but I'm scared ah! Ah! Oh my god, oh, that's so weird, but it's so cool. Look wow Can you tell I've never had a fireplace before this is sick right next to the fireplace? We have my iconic baby angel. This thing has come with me to like every single apartment, every single house that I've moved into. It's so stunning. I thrifted the base and I got this from like Lowe's or something or like Rona. I don't even know. It was like a garden accessory. Anyways, look at how cute he is. I'm obsessed. So our plan for this whole corner, we want to get like a shelf just to put all the wiring and like the PlayStation and the Wi-Fi box thing. So we want to hide all of the wires because that is like the most annoying thing ever. But yeah, we want to get a shelf and put it in the corner there, but we just don't know which shelf yet. <laughs> I don't know if you guys remember this couch, but this couch is a lot bigger than what you see right here. We had to only use half of it because it wouldn't fit. The whole thing would not fit. So this is what we're working with right now. We do want to get a new couch, but I don't know what I want to get just yet so I'm gonna be really patient on that we have some ottomans here we are also missing a coffee table so we also need to get that still waiting on finding the right one but so far we basically use these as tables and it works but I honestly think that this is my favorite part of the house I love the kitchen it just feels so refreshing so bright I don't know if you guys remember but our old house was like um super old there was a lot of wood everywhere you know and we both aren't into the wood so it's really nice to finally have something that we want and we definitely cherish it a lot more now let me show you the pantry because i spent like four hours yesterday cleaning this and organizing because it was so messy but let me show you what i did everything that i used to organize the stuff in the pantry is on my amazon storefront i got these containers that were specifically supposed to be for the fridge but honestly the sizing isn't the best so i thought it would be perfect to like put the pasta in look at how clean that looks i love 
And you already know I had to get the freaking salt shakers and the labels. To me, it's just so satisfying, you know? Like, I love having all the labels on there, knowing what I'm grabbing. It's not messy. Your spices aren't falling everywhere, so love that. And up here, we just have some, like, literally random things in, like, these bins from Amazon. And this from Amazon, too. Look at how cool it freaking spins, but... Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm working with. And then down here, we have some more things just like perfectly organized, which I'm obsessed with. We have so much space in here, which I love. I put cleaning supplies here, our new dinnerware set. It's going to be white and gold. And usually I have toilet paper here, but not right now. And we got some paper towels and boring stuff. Anyways, let's move on. Like I said, we are open to suggestions. So if you have any ideas and if you can think of anything that would match like the white modern Hollywood aesthetic, please let me know. Moving on from the kitchen, let's turn the lights off because the electricity bill is really expensive sometimes. <laughs> Anyways, so this is another freaking open space that we have and we were like, really? Another room, which is amazing. So what I think we're gonna do for this space, we're gonna turn it into like an office area because I work from home. It would be really convenient to have like a desk and you know, a shelf and stuff. I honestly don't know, but this is the other half of the couch. And look at that freaking burn, that's so sad. Here we have a little balcony and that's just boring. And right over here is the guest washroom. We do need to get some decor, but we got a few things. Like I got this thing from Yisk, which is like, I think it's like equivalent to Ikea, but just smaller. It fits perfectly over the toilet and it really fills up a space because without that, like this would have been so boring. So I do need to get more decor pieces, but so far we're using toilet paper as decor and towels. <laughs> and my little baby angels, of course. And there's the sink with another little baby angel. And of course, a giant mirror, which I'm obsessed with. Okay, time to go upstairs. Are you ready? We're finally getting to the freaking fun part. I can't wait to show you my rooms. I didn't really do that much different to it. I'm just so excited to like talk about pink stuff with you guys and I'm sure you are too. So first, before we get into that, I'll show you the master bedroom. It's pretty basic right now. It's giving major basicness. So we just have a bed. We don't even have a frame yet. We got two side tables from Ikea and yeah, literally nothing else. Closet. And there's another TV. I love TVs. <laughs> Anyways, I think we're gonna get rid of this because it's freaking busted. Like, look at it. That's my fault. Over here is the master washroom, which is really, really pretty. Just love the white and the floors are my freaking favorite. Okay, is it time? I don't know. Let's start with the boring stuff first. Laundry room. <laughs> okay, I really actually do love this laundry room. It's super freaking spacious. Like, look. Wow. And I love the floors. So freaking pretty. And I love these. Like, wow. Honestly, amazing. I did a little bit of organizing over here. Put some towels there. My hairbrushes because they're drying. And a trash can and a laundry basket. Okay, so this is my section of the house. We have my two rooms, my little closet, and my washroom. My closet just has like a bunch of freaking random stuff, body care, face masks, hair tools. I got this rack off of Amazon. It's also listed on my storefront. Yeah, just a bunch of random stuff and they still have to put that freaking rack thing, which I keep on talking about. All right, let's start with my first room. This room specifically is still in the works. So this one is my nostalgia room. This is gonna have all things cozy and all things like princess and 2000s childhood vibes. I put my TV here so if I ever just want to chill here and hang out with all my little friends. Oh my god that would be such a vibe but I just want to show you my little collection. So I'm obsessed with like every single book that I buy right and I just freaking decided to put them all on display here. Like look at how stunning. Oh my god. All of these are so beautiful. Look at that Barbie. Maddie got that for me for my birthday. Over here we have some more books. These are some goodies that Dom got me. You guys saw that already. I've never actually showed you these notebooks that I own and they are the most stunning notebooks. I got them from the Disney store when it was still around. Look at this one. Oh my god, this is the Beauty and the Beast notebook. Look at how stunning this is, you guys. I, I think I got this like maybe three years ago and oh 
The pages in this are just absolutely stunning. Like the graphics, wow. I've never been more obsessed with a book. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy I got this. Notebook was a whopping $41. Worth it though. And then of course, you already know I had to get the Sleeping Beauty one. Look at that. If you've seen the movie, you know this is like from the opening and it's just so classic. Like the quality on this is amazing, by the way. Look at that. That's literally the opening of the movie and look at how stunning this is. It's a whole notebook and I'm so obsessed. Coming over here, we have my iconic shoe chair. It's just chilling. And all of my lovely pillows. Look at this one, so cute. And we have this princess pillow that I got from Disney on Ice. And we have my brat pillow. All my little fluffy friends, look at how fun they are. Girl, this room is the definition of clutter. Like these are all the things that I'm like obsessed with, but I will never, never get rid of them. Here I have a few things that I recently purchased and I'm just not ready to put them away yet because honestly, let me just give you a sneak peek of my closet. There's no room at all. <laughs> You guys, oh my god, like I can't even open it. It's so bad, you guys. But yeah, that's it for this room. It's just super cozy vibe. Just has all my random stuff in here and I am simply obsessed. All right, we're moving on to the washroom. My washroom is also pretty boring. I need to add quite a few things. I need to get like a poster. I need to get more pink things to put in here. I just feel like it's not pink enough. Oh, and my shower curtain is not the vibe, girl. Like, I need to order a new one. But why is it so hard to find pink bathroom accessories? Can someone please tell me? Anyways, let me show you. All right, this is my washroom. Let's go ahead and turn that light on. So over here, I have my Victoria's Secret towel. My shower curtain is actually a baby pink, but it literally looks beige, but it's not, I swear. And over here, I have my little castle that I bought like four years ago, my angel babies. We have my Hello Kitty mirror, and look at that. A juicy couture candle, I'm obsessed, but this is what this side of the washroom looks like. In here, I have literally like all my must-have products, like my skincare, toothbrush, hair oil, all that fun stuff. I just realized this whole time I probably had fluffies on my head and my hair is probably so frizzy because I didn't put hair oil in. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just a mess today. But do you remember when I got this juicy bath mat in Miami? Iconic. But the shade of pink is kind of not giving though. But yeah, that is my washroom. Oh my god, I'm so excited to show you my room. All right, beautiful, gorgeous angels. This is my freaking room, okay? I feel like the lighting is kind of ruining the vibe right now, but I am just obsessed with this room. Let me show you what I did with the shelves. So I kind of changed it up a bit. I decluttered a lot, and I really, really love the way that it looks now. It just has all of my pink and sparkly things, which is definitely what I love the most. My freaking fairy godmother princess outfit is just chilling right over here. This has to be my favorite part of my entire room. And this is what this shelf looks like. Yeah, I just decluttered so much. Literally just put everything that's pink and sparkly Look at this shelf. Look at these freaking stunning shoes and these. Oh my gosh. Look at that. We have a picture of Marilyn, all of my pink perfumes, my jewelry because Marilyn is holding jewelry so she's gonna hold jewelry too. Juicy makeup bag, some more purses and iconic shoes. Okay, look at how cute this is. There's a picture of Marilyn wearing a tiara on this side and a baby angel looking at her and I have all of my tiaras right there. How cute is that? Oh my god, yes. And these stunning shoes honestly just give me life. Like, I remember the first time I saw these and I did not care. I knew I had to buy them and my mom got me those for my birthday. These gorgeous purses are from my collab with Call It Spring. Can you guys believe I had a collab with them? Like, what is going on? Anyways, that's it for the shelves. That's what I'm freaking obsessed with. And then over here we have my mirror. I just put like a little fluffy thing over top and we have some more purses and some chargers. And this is my vanity. It's a freaking mess right now, I know, but it's hard to keep it clean, okay? We have my beautiful perfume stand. We've got some random perfumes, lip glosses, and all of my mini perfumes at the bottom there. Baby Angel, another juicy candle. 
This is the lighting that I use for all of my get ready with me's. Very convenient. And I have a bunch of mirrors here. I just got this one. Look at how pretty this one is. My brushes, my pink water bottle, my phone. Oh look, this is my background on my phone by the way. Oh, sorry, my screen is like cracked because I always drop my phone. It's literally your comments on my first video because I just, the feeling that I had when people were actually watching my very first YouTube video was like unmatched. Oh my god, my phone is so dirty, but thank you guys so much for your support. <laughs> Anyways, we have some jewelry here and all of my makeup is like stored in here. It's a freaking mess, but that's fine. We'll move on. Of course, we have the iconic clothing rack right over here. This holds all of my favorite pink clothing pieces. Like this coat from Sparkle Fairy Fashion. How cute is that? I have a bunch of robes like this, this, this. Oh my god, my juicy tracksuit. More robes, 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 and another juicy tracksuit. Oh my goodness. Just absolute perfection and my closet is also freaking maxed out but it's not as bad as the other one this one is definitely like a lot better i just have my slippers all the way down at the bottom there but yeah angels that is my room i hope you love it just as much as i do and if you have any suggestions please let me know that is it for today's video i really hope you liked the tour I hope I gave you a proper tour. I really wanted someone to film me, like, giving the tour like they do in MTV Cribs, but it just didn't work out like that for me. As always, I love you and I appreciate you so much. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and hit the post notifications button so you never miss when I post. That is a freaking mouthful. Now I'm going to edit this video and have it up for you Sunday as promised. <laughs> but I'm also gonna order food, but I don't know what to order. Oh my god, it's Saturday, so I feel like I can treat myself to food. Also, my nail is just going through a hard time. I'm gonna get it done tomorrow. I might go shorter. I'm not sure though. I don't know. But my arm really hurts, and I love you so much. Bye!